Okay, I, 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 I don't know what we're facing. Okay. So, uh, this is interesting. It seems to just be hard trick room with Chinchino and Urshifu. This whole team really just invalidates Kamoa. I think I'm just going to lead off Venucol and go from there. And then I can bring like Clef I can bring Clef uh, Clefairy Stack Attacka, and that should be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's fine. Um, so my curse is that I'll build teams that do well in tournament and then do awful on low ladder because I can't manage. I can like place high in tournaments. I can place just fine in tournaments. I can't place high on the ladder. That's my curse, and I think I'm gonna try to fix that this summer. All right. So, all I really see here is a free eruption. I'm not even gonna lie. All I see is a free eruption because I'm gonna max ooze that Hatterene. I'm gonna do it. And then I get an eruption off and it's all good. And if they trick room on me, what did they gain? Nothing, because I have a Torkoal or a stack, whatever's in the back. Um, bars. <clears throat> Watch the slow bro get the quick draw. Yeah, and then I'll cry. One team for the ladder and a pillow to cry when I lose. Exactly. Have they Dynamax in the Hatterene? That isn't very poggers. Ooh, okay. All right. So here's what I'm going to hope for. Here's what I'm going to hope for. That um, they targeted into my Venusaur. That'd be the best outcome for me. Wow, I just one-shot it. Cool. Target my Venusaur. This thing is not going to take this very well. I didn't expect to one-shot that. This thing is not going to take it very well. If this guy... First of all, you should always calc for that. I'm pretty sure you can live a max ooze for most Venusaur. Maybe they're calced for, like, timid non-life orb. There's a max Mindstorm. Dude, I don't care. KO me. I don't care. He doesn't even KO me. Look how much I'm about to do. Look how, much, look how much I'm about to do with the single target plus one charcoal eruption with quiet max special attack in the sun. There are so many qualifiers for that. That's how many you can tell how much damage you're about to do by the amount of qualifiers you have to have for the for the move you're about to say. That's a lot of adjectives there. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> There's the Urshifu. Um you know what the Urshifu can't click? Sucker Punch. Gimme. Give Gimme give that. The Urshifu literally can't click Sucker Punch right now. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like Focus Sash Urshifu just based off of the fact that the Hatterene didn't have it. Yeah, it is. Uh, this thing's dead at the end of the turn. As they go for a Wicked Blow. Um... I take that pretty well, don't I? Yeah, because I'm Torkoal. Let me go for the Max Mindstorm, and I think... I think Eruption plus Vines, even though I'm at half health, is probably going to do it. Reminds me of Rain Boosted Water Spout Kyogre with Mystic Water. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, um, it is a... 3v1, which is... It's pretty hard not to win the 3v1s, you know? Unless you're main. I believe... Main, are you in the chat? I saw one of your videos went up today, and it was like, Incineroar 3v1. Did you win that? Just spoil it for me right now. Did you win the Incineroar 3v1? Hello, Chinchino! How are you? I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. This Chinchino 
is not going to take anything. Yes, you did. Awesome. Bullet seed. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> it's probably skill link, so it's going to get all five. So that is respectable damage, but it's, it's kind of sad looking at stack attack and take that little from, what is it? It's 25 times five, a base 125 power move. Is, is bullet seed base 25 power or is it base 15 or 20? They even try to timer stall you. Awesome. It's King's Rock. <laughs> That's funny. Where is Chinchino getting the seeds to shoot? Um, lunch. Okay, lunch. all right, hold on. Hold on. This is kind of cool for Komoo. You might be thinking, Marcos, there are three things that hit you for super effective. But I'm going to pretend I do not see it. I pretend I do not see it. Also, stack attack, it goes crazy here. I'm just going to do this. Clefairy on lead with Kamoa. If they don't lead off with Togekiss, I'm going to say that's, that's a win. I'm just going to say it's a win if they don't lead off Togekiss. And if they do, I do not care. Because I'm going to eat the hit, I'm going to follow me, and then I'm going to go for a poison jab after my belly drum. Excadrill took... Okay, so remember when I said this is this this was like not a good lead versus me? When, yeah, when I did not have a good answer to Togekiss on my lead. This is what I meant. Um, they're not going to Earthquake. Likely. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and uh, protect here as I get in my stack attack. -a. And then on the next turn, as long as they went for like a Dazzling Gleam here, which I believe they would have, there's no reason not to Dazzling Gleam and go for an Iron Head. I should be able to follow me and get off my Trick Room and then be fine. That's a Stream Snipe level lead, yeah. <laughs> no way they Quake. They're going to they're gonna Dazzling Gleam and either just Iron Head or... I don't know. I don't think they're going to quake. SD for sure. I wouldn't even care if it's SD. As long as I get this trick room off, I'm fine. There it is. Dazzling Gleam. Awesome. Awesome. Don't be crit kiss. I'm so tired of crit kiss. That... That is crit kiss. Okay. Um, well, stack, if there was ever a time for you to tank a hit, now would be the time. You better take this, dude. You better take... You got friend guard up, dude. You got friend guard. There's no way you don't take this. If this trick room goes up, I'm going to call it a win. What was that play? What was that? I'm legitimately asking right now. What was that play? They know I'm just going to go ahead and KO their Togekiss now, right? Unless they're Babiri, in which case I'm not. But I can hope. Maybe just got a random crit. That's true, it could be. Yeah, I don't know why they would Swords Dance there. Because with Friend Guard and a Max Steel Spike, and if I KO this Togekiss, that's... Mm, no, I don't see it. Oh, and here's the thing. They just sent out Rillaboom, so if they did go for Earthquake, they cut their damage in half. They would have to Quake here, and even though that would knock out, you know, Clefairy, I'm going to get in the Torkoal. I kind of hope they did just Earthquake. <laughs> In all honesty, I really hope they did just Earthquake so they can think about what they just did. If they max, it's whatever. I'm going to go ahead and just hit them with... Uh... Yeah, they're going to max. I'm going to hit them with the Torkoal next turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now... They should predict the follow me, so I really hope they steel spiked. That 
That does a ton. Wow. That does a ton. There's the steel spike, that's fine. And now my play on this next turn is gonna be to get in the um get in the Torkoal and go for a protect while I steel spike the Rillaboom, because they're just gonna fake out the Torkoal. And behind protect with leftover or not with leftover recovery, but with like grassy terrain recovery and a steel spike up, I should always tank the hit from this thing. Excadrill got a potato belly. He do. He do. <coughs> Choking on coffee, just like I'm gonna choke this game. <coughs> Ow. If you don't fake out, I'm gonna cry. I will. Don't test me. There it is. Cool. Max Steel Spike, choking on coffee.mp3. <laughs> Alright, and now I am at plus three defense, because that's a beast boost. Look at Charizard XY, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I kind of hope they just target into the stack attacker, because that's not going to KO me. Ain't no way, ain't no way. I told you! I told you it wasn't going to KO me. And now I get my weakness policy. I am just schlonking this coffee. Is that the right verb? Is schlonking coffee a thing you can do? Oof, ouch, my bones. Best part is, um, they don't take this very well. Call an ambulance, but not for me. There's the T-Tar. Uh, yeah, it's kind of scary, right? It's pretty scary. I cannot tell a lie. But I also have body press on this Torkoal. Which is pretty poggers. I cannot lie. It's pretty poggers. Um, let me do a thingy real quick. How many turns are left to Trick Room? Two turns left to Trick Room. I'm going to go ahead and Steel Spike this Tyranitar. And Eruption would be pretty cool, but they have plus one defense, plus one special defense. Hmm. I think plus two body press does more. Don't quote me on that. But you're going to have to quote me because I'm clicking it. That's fine. That's dumb. I'm going to say that's dumb because that was your last turn to likely live any hit I'm going for. I'm just going to say that was a that was not a smart play. That was the last turn their Excadrill had any hope of living a hit. And I can still gyro ball that Tyranitar. Matter of fact, I might be able to just Rock Slide and... I think Rock Slide Eruption would be the play here. Because I'm at plus two. No, no, because Rock Slide's quad resisted. That's dumb. Hope you have a flawless stream. Thank you, Philip Rose. <laughs> I mean, they don't have a Focus Sash. I'm just going to Gyro Ball. They don't have a focus sash, so I'm just going to jar ball body press. It doesn't matter what comes in. It's gone. They need a double protect to win. And if they do, I just kind of get in the Kamo and I think I'm fine. I feel like Torkoal and Stack Attack are just such an iconic duo. In my mind, at least, because I played a lot of 17. BGC 17 is, like, a really iconic season that a lot of people don't appreciate. 
yeah, you're gone, and uh, <laughs> we're about to see how much plus three body press does to this uh, this Excadrill. Hmm. <clears throat> Or is it plus two? I don't know. It's KOing, though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no! Oh, God. What have I done? That didn't KO. Wow. Um. Oh, the life orb did it. I win. <laughs> I'm fine. I just have to poison jab and uh, eruption. <clears throat> Stack wasn't legal in 17. Um, yes, it was. No, no, 18. That's what that's what it was. 18. Sorry, I misspoke. All right. Poison jab, and I'm pretty sure eruption will do it after that. I don't think they'll outspeed me because I'm jolly. If they do, I will be sad. Awesome. Yeah, this thing's gone. Critical hit, too. That, that's a crit for your crit at the beginning of the match. And there's a poison, too. Excuse me? Why wouldn't you just run safety goggles? What? <laughs> okay, well, it's still gone. Why wouldn't you just run safety goggles, then? Do you have safety goggles on something else? Get out of here. Awesome. Yeah, Lum Kiss. That is a doozy. That is a doozy. Okay. Honestly, a really, really good game for the, uh, <laughs> for the Kamoa if I play it right. Like, a really, really good game. Alright, we're just gonna go Kamoa, Clefairy, and, uh, Vinicole. This is going to be a really good game if I play it right. Um, Raichu could be annoying. Fake out and sin. It's mostly just the fake out users that are kind of annoying. At one point, I was kind of tempted to swap Clefairy out for uh, Psychic Surge and Didi. And that might be better, to be honest. Because I prevent fake out entirely. Make it a lot easier to get this off. But Clefairy is just so good for stack attacka, so... Amoongus and Raichu. So, that's a belly drum. I'm just going to put it like that. That's a belly drum. And I'm actually going to protect here. Assuming that they would fake out the, uh, the Clefairy. And try to put it to sleep. Oh, okay. That sucks. Alright. Um, nuzzle goes before. Nuzzle goes before, so I can try to belly drum again. And if they nuzzle my Clefairy, that's the best outcome. I also believe Bulletproof should block Moonblast. As they withdraw, they definitely nuzzled. They got a nuzzle. There's the polytoed. The pol the poly the polynomial toad. Tell me you nuzzled. I'd rather have a paralyzed Clefairy. Cool. Clefairy can't go to sleep anymore. Kamoa can't be put to sleep either. So. Alright. Please allow me to remove this Raichu from the field. Oh my god, I just realized I'm Dragon Claw. <laughs> no! My idiot self! I'm supposed to be... Guys, I'm supposed to be Scale Shot. 
I am supposed to be scale shot. Wow. Wow, Marco. Good job. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Give me my health back. Don't be focused, Sash. Okay, he's focused, Sash. Um. Okay, I can see how we can get out of this. I see how we can get out of this. Hey, oh, it hurts really bad. My, my self-esteem, it's gone. No. Alright, uh, I'm gonna Dragon Claw this Raichu. And follow me again. I'm not going to belly drum again. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And do you want to know why? Because there is a Kingdra coming in. I'm going to say it like that. There is a Kingdra coming in. Okay, it's Among Us. What, are you going to Icy win me? Scald. Cool. Okay, I'll belly drum again. <laughs> I'll belly drum again. I'll bite. I'll bite. I'm also going to protect. Why? Because I'm not getting burned by the scald. I guarantee you that. I'm not getting burned by the scald. <clears throat> He's probably like, when is this Clefairy going to be fully paralyzed? Never. That's when. And then I'm going to Drain Punch this Politoed, and it's going to be cool. It's going to be epic. I'm not getting burned. 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 I'm not getting... Okay, good. Good, that's progress. Let me belly... Let me, uh... Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, um... Let me Drain Punch you. And I'm actually going to get in the Torkoal here. For fun, happy reasons. Not sad reasons. Um, I'm going to try to set up the Sun this turn. Assuming they're just going to Giga Drain again. And then Sun is up pretty much permanently. And I'm probably not going to Dynamax Kamo this game. I'm probably going to have to Dynamax Venusaur. I ignore that. Thank you. I ignore that. I'm going to get it back up to full health, pretty much. And now... That's a win. That's a win. what I tell you? Okay, uh, this is just going to be weakness policy shenanigans. I could... Just lead off Clefairy stack and pretty much be set. Do that. I ran that Aleki and PC3 qualifiers and it came in clutch against Glacier. Electro Ball? Yeah, Electro Ball is kind of crazy. I really hope this isn't ally switch comfy. They usually have ally switch, so I'm just going to hope that they don't. Any move that can dodge a prankster taunt is not balanced. All of them are ally switch. This is online ladder. Big facts, big facts. All right, there's Rillaboom. Uh, they're probably just going to fake out Max Quake into my stack. I still have to get the Trick Room off. I'm going to go ahead and protect. And protect. 
And then next turn, I'm going to follow me, Trick Room. Watch this be like Autotomize or something wacky. Meteor Mash, okay. So now my play is going to be to follow me. And uh, Trick Room up. And if they don't Dynamax, if they just Meteor Mash and knock out my Clefairy, that'd be ideal because now I get in the Torkoal. And this game becomes like a million times more difficult for them. As they Dynamax, that's fine. They're probably just going to Steel Spike anyways. As they knock off. Unironically kind of good for me as long as they Steel Spike. There it is. And now, I have a Charcoal Torkoal on the field that can just kind of do whatever it feels like. Or at least I'm about to have that. Now, I could go for the Eruption. I could. But I'm actually somewhat interested in Dynamaxing this Torkoal to ensure I always KO the Metagross. Representative Torkoal, we'll see you shortly. What do they have in the back? I have to consider that. Uh, maybe I just Eruption. Maybe I actually just Eruption. And I can max Steel Spike to make sure I eat the hit better. I'm going to do that. Eruption's going to hit like a truck, dude. The reason I'm not um, Dynamaxing this Torkoal is pretty much just because I can take the Rillaboom for free or whatever Switch is in. And it's already modest, quiet, not modest, it's already quiet max special attack, charcoal boosted in the sun. It's probably going to come close to KOing, and the max steel spike is going to let me live. And then I can just start clicking body press if I need to, if they end up targeting the Torkoal. There's the Grassy Glide. Cool. Not really <laughs> not really relevant in this situation. Get a nice little chunk of damage. Nice little defense boost there so I can take the Quake. And then uh, this Eruption is going to be doing loads. Doesn't KO the Metagross, but I'm going to eat whatever this thing goes for, and then I can start clicking Body Press and Steel Spikes. Mindstorm? Hello? Okay, sir. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I don't think I care. Interesting interesting uh, move there. I figured you would Quake, if anything. Maybe they don't have Quake. Maybe they're uh, one of those new age hipster Metagross users. There's the Kumfei. And this is the reason I didn't Dynamax. This is the reason I didn't Dynamax. Let me Steel Spike the Kumfei. Yeah, that thing's gone. I think I win. Brain Blast. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that Metagross definitely just hit me with the Brain Blast. Eruption, goodbye. And I got a feeling I win. And I have time for one more battle after this, which will hopefully get me into Master Ball tier. If not, I'll be kind of annoyed. Stacks are really good in this format. I'm just going to say that. It's it's really good. Um, Bobby Press. 
because it's funny. I'm gonna steal Spike because it's funny. 